Hey everybody, it's Bob's Heart Are You All Doing? Today, very randomly and spontaneously, I am going to be sharing my top 10 Amazon buys. A little while back, I watched a video from one of my favorite mamas on YouTube, Emily Norris. She basically shared her favorite buys on Amazon and when I watched it, I thought, what a fantastic idea. I love Amazon. If Amazon were a person, she would be my gal pal. She will be there for me 24-7 whenever I need her and she always delivers, she's always reliable. Actually now as a working mom of two kids, I love that I can just shop sitting in a toilet. I can buy crap while taking a crap. I don't need to drive out there, I don't need to go through traffic, I don't need to park, I don't need to queue. Although exercise would be nice though. So the products I'm gonna be sharing today are going to be just mixed. Uh, mainly, I guess, lifestyle and home products, so some beauty stuff thrown in there. I love these products almost more than I love Amazon and I hope you guys will enjoy them too. So let's get started. So the very first product is handy, especially if you got kids, because if you got kids and you have a bathtub at home, then obviously it means you're gonna have bath toys. Sooner or later, those bath toys will accumulate. And so I'm so thankful for my bath caddy. Before that, I had this sort of like plastic container, like a box, and I would have to fish the, the toys out. And not even just fishing the toys out of water, but it was just so tedious draining it every single one before putting it into, inside the container. Because if you don't drain out the water properly, then eventually you're going to have this mildew crap that's going to build up inside the container, which is gross. So mildew and mold, not a good combination. So we just throw it all into the caddy and because it naturally drains into the tub, it just saves me so much time. I know sometimes people like to buy like little nets that you kind of just suction into the wall. But for me, where my bathtub is independent, um, the caddy works much better, especially because of the size. It holds so much more and it would fit with any bathtub because you can adjust the sides. It's been the next day and you can see the toys are completely dry and drained. My second line, this is a bag insert. I've actually had so many girlfriends ask me about this. Now my to-go bag is just my long chump. I like using it because it's lightweight and ever since becoming a mummy, it's just been my to-go bag. Um, nothing worse than carrying a bag that's already heavy because you're gonna be throwing like crap loads of stuff in there. The problem with the long chump bag is it's just open. I wish they had more compartments in it, but it's just the nature of the bag. So I got insert, which sits inside my bag perfectly so I can still remain organized. The size that I got, I believe, is in medium. So you can get them in different sizes, small, medium, and large. You can see there are so many compartments in there. And it just means that I can really separate my things. I've got like a little section for my lipstick. I'm oh, sorry, my tampon's like sticking out. Hey, girls have periods. I think this part is especially for you to put your drink, but I just like to put my vlogging camera in here. I've just quickly emptied it out for you guys, just so you can see the compartments. But these compartments work really well. I know there's a lot of bag inserts out there. Some of them are really cheap, but uh, I just believe that this one, the compartments are made really well. Sometimes there's just compartments, but they're not really thought of properly. Um, this one is durable. It looks well. It's just perfect. So next up, these are the Command Damage Free Hanging Wall Strips. Usually you can buy these in supermarkets, but for some reason, they're just cheaper on Amazon. What's great about these is I can actually just hang uh, paintings, uh, photos on my wall without the need of using a wall drill. I don't need to drill a physical hole in my wall. As you can see, they look like this and they attach together through Velcro. So if I pressed it, you can hear them snap together and it holds up to seven kilograms. So that's really heavy. These have hung some proper heavy frames in my house. Maybe one day we'll eventually have to get a wall drill, um, but these have just been really handy. So next up is quite a recent purchase. It is contact paper. A little while back, I was on Instagram and my friend Heart, she shared a DIY transformation of her computer table. After seeing that, I thought, wow, I have to try that, especially because of my dresser. It's only a couple years old, but because I spilled some water along the top, some of the water seeped into the edges. It had these horrible cracks 
for. It was just a total eyesore. So I figured one, this is going to completely revamp it, and two, it will cover up those unsightly edges and the sides. Obviously, on Amazon there are a bunch of contact papers that you can buy. I went for a marble look because I just love the timeless, classic, um, clean beauty of it. I was amazed because after five minutes, my dresser looked hundred times more expensive. Um, the edges were completely covered and it just completely revamped it. So I decided to do the same for my bedside table as well. Only problem was I should have bought more because I ran out. So I'm just waiting for the other one to come along. So I have a feeling I'm gonna go around contact papering a lot of surfaces in my house. I just think it's a really fun and inexpensive way to refump a piece of furniture. So next up is my toy drawstring mat. Now, I, my son Isaac is four and he loves his Lego. And when it comes to Lego, there's a lot of pieces. We use it especially for Lego, but it doesn't have to be just for Lego. It can be used for any toy, basically. So we used to store the Lego in a big giant box. And even still, it was very tedious picking up the pieces. And so I was so happy to discover this drawstring mat because we would actually store the Lego inside the, the bag. Whenever he wants to play Lego, I just take out the bag, unleash the drawstring and it opens up in a big space for him to play. Whenever we are done with the Lego, we just pull the drawstring and everything is tidied away in an instant. Next up, this is my UV slash LED uh, nail lamp that I got from Amazon. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I just don't have time for nail polish anymore because it just doesn't last on me. When it comes to my hands, where you do a lot of labor, um, in general, nail polishes just don't do the tricks, so they're just a total waste of time and I have just moved on to gel because they last so much longer. Same time, even though I do love the gel nail, um, time-wise, I just don't really have the luxury to go and get my nails done because it could easily take up 30 minutes to an hour. And so what I did was I just decided to get my own lamp and set and cure my own nails. So what's really handy for myself is I have a girlfriend who actually does nail, so she gave me a lot of tips and pointers on how to do it, but there are so many videos on YouTube. Actually, what you realize is doing your nails yourself could actually be pretty simple. So every fortnight when my kids are asleep, I like to use that hour before going to bed to do my nails, and it's so therapeutic. This is the one I use, and it comes up a 10 second, 30 second, 60 second, and 90 second timer. When you put your hands in, it automatically lights up, so you don't need to press any buttons. And as you can see, because it's shaped um, the lights is going to um, I guess evenly distribute on your nails rather than just having lights at the top so I really like this LED lamp it works really well and it's pretty inexpensive as well so we think this lamp just buying it alone costs the same as you getting your nails done once then actually this is not a bad choice and next up I've had so many questions regarding this product right here and it is my book lamp so as you can see, it looks like this, but once I open it up, <gasps> aesthetically, I love how magical it looks, but at the same time, it doesn't require any plugs. So usually I wake up like an hour or two before the kids are up just so I can just enjoy some me time, have a cup of tea in peace. So this would be next to my bed and I would open it up. I'll make my way downstairs and this will be my light source because it's still dark and I just love the ambience. It just feels very peaceful. Sometimes at night time when I'm just trying to chill in my bedroom, I would only have this lamp on as well and I would just feel really relaxed and it's just become part of my bedtime routine. My mother-in-law also has one and she actually brings it traveling with her. It just charges through like your ordinary USB. Supposedly the battery life is like, I think it's like four or six hours, but it feels like it's been on for longer than that. So next up, this product isn't from Amazon. I got it years and years and years ago and till today, it's still one of my favorite purchases and when people ask me like where to buy it, I just point them to Amazon because there's so many different equivalents. This is just basically a massage pillow. For myself, um, I just always have really uh, stiff shoulder blades, uh, very stiff shoulders in general. And then um, during time of month, I get a dull ache in my lower back. So this always comes in handy for me. At night time when my day is over, I like to wind down by just sitting in bed with this. Ah, this feels so good. I can actually feel the knots being kneaded away.
oh my gosh, it just feels really, really good. Because I'm always looking down on my laptop, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are. Maybe a lot of times you're looking down your phone, straining especially on your shoulder blades. Sometimes if I walk too much, then my calf feels really tight, so I'll rest my calf on it and it feels amazing. I just think everybody should have one of these. I know not everyone has enough space to have a massage chair at home. I don't need a massage chair. I just need one of these. It's crazy how fast kids grow out of their clothes. So a lot of times the clothes we have to put the storage. It doesn't have to be just clothes, you know, like stuff like your winter duvet or uh, sheets, uh, blankets. They can take up a lot of space. What I like to do is I like to put them in these suction bags. What you do is you just pop this lid off. Um, you can just pop your vacuum in here and basically all the air will be sucked out. Um, if you don't have a vacuum, you can use a little pump that usually comes with your suction bags and just pump the air out. This is my 13 tug winter duvet, but once it's suctioned off, you can see how thin it is. I'm always amazed with the before and after because before it's like this huge massive bag but once all the air is sucked off it just becomes so dense and easy for me to just store away under my bed on my shelves. Last but not least, the 10 product that I really love um, from Amazon is this one right here. I've never heard this brand, like despite being a beauty influencer uh, for the past 10 years, I've never heard of this. This is the Working Hands Hand Cream and it's for extremely dry and cracked hands. I used to really take pride in my hands at the fact that they just were always so soft but I didn't realize it's because like I never really had to like wash dishes. So now with a family to take care of, my hands are just so much more dry. I have to admit I'm really bad when it comes to hand cream because I just think what a waste of time. By the time I put some on, I'm gonna end up washing something and it's gonna wash right off. It doesn't matter what brand of like hand cream I use in the market, I just don't like it. It always feels sort of like heavy or greasy. So what I like about this hand cream is it instantly moisturizes my hands, but it doesn't feel like I've got it on. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes, you know when it comes to hand cream, once you put it on, you just feel it really nourish your hands, but then you've got that really sticky, slimy feeling afterwards. You don't get that with this cream. I keep this next to my bed, and before I go to sleep, I apply a really thick layer on. And sometimes if my hands are really dry, then I put on a pair of cotton gloves right over and I go to bed and the next morning I will wake up to really soft hands. Like looking at it, it definitely doesn't really appeal to the eye. Um, but it works. Alright, so these are my top 10 buys on Amazon and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And just to make it a little bit helpful, I'm going to link uh, the products down below for you guys. Although do bear in mind to all of my viewers outside of the UK, um, I live in the UK obviously, so my links are obviously going to be UK based. So I hope you have a fantastic day and I shall talk to you soon.